welcome to the costume shop. My name is Connie, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the costumes we have for our musical Eight Misbehaving. Uh, we are focusing on the music of Fats Waller in this show, and uh, he did his jazz music in the 30s and 40s, and so with our ensemble cast, we have pieces that uh, tell a little bit about that era and where they were and what they were doing. So uh, we'll start off, this is uh, Rebecca Covington's Act One ensemble. We have her dress here and the accessories. So our actors and actresses have basically one look for Act One and one for Act Two. This is Rebecca Covington's Act One look. Uh, they're kind of a day look. Uh, it's lighter, sunnier, um, kind of fun and flowing. Uh, it's got just a little bit of sparkle here. And musicals, we like to do a little bit of sparkle and rhinestone. It helps catch the stage light and helps you to see all the movement and, and fun of the show. So for this dress, the 30s elements of it are the uh, sleeve, which is cut on the bias, which means you place the pattern piece diagonally on your square of fabric, and it helps to drape over the body and to just have a nice, light, flowy style, which was very, very big at the time. So we have that. It's also read into this diagonal seaming here at the waist. Uh, for that era, we did it, a lot of times it was dropped or angled like that. Um, but then the 40s part of that, since it's plain to both times, we have a lot of this vertical seaming, a nice tight waist with the uh, little belt here. And the seaming actually comes down into these pleats that help open up the dress, so it has movement for all the dance she's going to be doing. Related to the dancing, we have her shoes, which have a nice T-strap to help hold the foot in, and they actually have this bracket here so that the heel does not break for all the heavy movement and dancing they'll be doing. We have her extra sparkly accessories too. She has bracelets and earrings and her sparkly necklace. And I'll give it a little kick. This is Christopher Morgan's Act One look. We have uh, many of you are familiar with a zoot suit, which uh, this is. And uh, the zoot suit is a bigger, boxier, kind of baggier kind of suit. Uh, at the beginning of the century, everything was more tightly fitted. You had a more defined, higher waist, and so this was kind of the rebellion from that. Uh, having more fun with things. So you can see the bigger box of your shoulders, the pants have the pleating that allow a nice wide leg, uh, it's cut longer, uh, but it's also, so, you know, it's meant to have fun and be kind of stylish. So you can see we have the contrast here in the vest and in the collar, uh, lots of uh, top stitching here, and just outlining all the little details of the suit. This double-breasted vest with the, the contrast collar fairly 20s, especially with the hound stews. We also have this detail in the back, this waist cincher that pulls this in with the vent here. It's a little contrast in. That is also kind of speaking more to the 20s. So we have a lot in here. And we've talked also about the glitter that, uh, that the women have, the sparkles and rhinestones. And the men are not without their fair share of glitter too. We have their cufflinks and we have rings and this big shiny chain and this hat he has a big wide brim Lancaster hat where he has a fancy ribbon and a nice feather you'll also notice he has a bright orange in his tie that'll definitely be something that catches your eye you'll see that but you'll also be drawn down from that orange to the orange in his socks which will just catch a little bit as he's moving and dancing as the hem of his pants flash up you'll see all the color in here and so you'll be watching that. You'll see a lot of movement in his feet because our eyes are drawn to the lighter colors as well as the sparkle. He has this two-tone shoe with the weave, the brown weaved in with the white here. So you're gonna be watching lots of fancy footwork with that. So in act two, uh, we're moving into more of an evening look. So the colors are gonna be darker, but we're gonna up the sparkle element. So you can see this is Rebecca Covington's act two dress. So we have the darker blue, but we have all these appliques of lace with uh, sequins stitched into them. Still have sparkle here on the belt and in the necklace. Now this dress is a little more set in the 40s, and we can tell that it has the skinny belt again. It also has this little peplum that goes around, the cute little bow in the back. And then in the skirt, uh, for movement, they've added all these gores here, so it really helps with the motion. So she has plenty of room to move around. She has plenty of accessories, lots of sparkly bows and bracelets. 
her gloves are a big accessory that she's going to be wearing. Like I was saying, the white, your eyes are drawn to the white, so she's gonna make big dramatic gestures with her gloves, and we're gonna have lots of fluid movement with that. And then we have the hat, big dramatic hat, lots of sparkle, stuff going on. This is gonna be a nice entrance kind of hat. It's gonna make a statement. But then the brim comes off, and we're left with something smaller and easier to dance in, but with still, you know, some nice decoration. All right, so we've taken the style and all the glitter and sparkle and movement and fun to really bring a great, exciting show to you. Enjoy misbehaving. <laughs>